Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, one very interesting topic in hash map series we are going to talk about today, how to compare two hash maps or multiple hash maps. So very interesting and some important interview questions and uh, same hash map comparisons, these techniques you can use uh, in your framework, in your program also when you are solving some particular problem. And uh, you can compare like on the basis of key value pair format, you can compare on the basis of only keys, you can compare on the, on the basis of their values also. So three different types of comparisons, uh, you can do that with respect to hash map. So you can see in this particular, uh, on this particular page that uh, in this class, we have created three maps, map one, map two, map three. A key, it will take integer and the string value. And this is 1A, 2B, 3C. In map two, I have created 1A, 2B, 3C, same exactly, just like map one and map two. And in map number three, I have done, let's see, 1A, uh, 2B, 3C, and uh, 3D, I have written like that. Okay, let me write it like that. Okay, so these are the three maps that I have created. Now, the first comparison, I'm gonna do that on the basis of key value pair format on the basis of their key and values together. So how to do that? It's pretty simple. Simple, you have to use equals method. That's it. I'll do that. I simple write system dot auto print I'm going to use, I simple say that my map number one dot equals method with map number two. So both are exactly having the same key value pair formats. Order doesn't matter. And then it should give you true over here. So we can see it's giving you true. Okay. Now, the same thing if I'm doing with the map two with map, uh, map one with map three, let's see. Then it should give you false. Why? Because we have separate key is available over here. False, it's giving you. Okay. So we have three C and then we have three D also. So we have an extra pair, although on three, the D will be stored, but we have an extra pair. So in that case, it will give you false. So in this case, it will give you uh, true. And in this case, it will give you false. Simple. Okay. Now, this is pretty simple. Next question is that, how will you compare two hash map for the same keys that, uh, uh, like, are we having the same uh, hash map keys available over here? So how to do that? So let's see the same example. We can take these three hash maps, one uh, A, two B, three C, three D, and then these two are exactly same. So what I'm going to do that uh, second one is that compare two hash map for the same keys. So I simply write compare hash map for the same keys. In that case, guys, we have to use one method that is called key set method over here. You have to do that. How to do this? I simply write system dot out print Allen. And let's see, this is my map number one dot key set I'll be using. So first give me the key set from map number one. So it will give you all the keys, one, two, and three. This entire set will be given to, okay, by using key dot set, it will give you what? Set of integer, right? Then it will give you all the keys over there. And then I simply compare with dot equals what? Uh, map number two and give me the key set from there as also. And then you compare. Both are having the same key set, yes, one, two, three, and here also we are getting one, two, three, and then you compare. So if you compare, you are getting true over here. So in this case, you are getting true, okay? So here also you are getting true. But if I compare with the map one with map number three, with respect to key set, in map number three, let's see what happens. So again, you are getting true over here, why? Remember guys, this thing, because key set will give you what? By default, key set is giving you a set over here, right guys? And set property or set is, it will ignore the duplicate value. So it will ignore this particular three. So when we storing inside the key set, it will take only one, two, three from here also, and one, two, three from here also. And then it will compare. So here we are getting one, two, three, and here we are getting one, two, three. This three will be ignored because of key set is giving you set, and set will store only and only Unique values, not the duplicate values are not allowed in set. So when we store again three over here by using key set, the th fourth three, this three will be ignored because it's saying three is already having, so I'm going to ignore you. That's it. So that's why in this case also we are getting true. Remember this thing, this is a very good comparison actually. 
Then another question is that on top of that, you have to find out find out the extra key actually. Okay. How will you find out the extra, how many extra keys are available? Okay. So for example, let's say I'm going to create one more hash map. And let's see, this is my map number four. And I'm simple writing map number four dot put dot put like that. And one, two, three, four, I'm using it. So if you compare with map number one, map number one is having one, two, three, three keys are available. But in map number four, we have this extra fourth key is available. So my target is that you have to find out that, okay, yeah, this is the extra key is available. So how will you find out? So in that case, the mechanism, see very important interview question. What I'm going to do that you simple use combine the keys from both the maps or from both the hash map. Okay, then what you do? Uh, so how will you combine? So you have to use a, a simple, you can create one hash set over here. So I'm going to show you how to do that hash set. So I simply say that, okay, using hash set. Okay. And then what you do? So let's do this first thing. So uh, I'm going to create the object of hash set over here. Hash set will store the unique values only, and it does not maintain key and value pair format. So what kind of uh, keys we have? We have integer type of keys. So integer, and let's see, I simple write combine keys is equal to new hash set. And then here you can simple write from the map number one, give me the key set and then store it and then import and simple write integer. Okay, like that. So if you're writing integer over here, you don't need to write it. You can write it. That's not compulsory. Okay. Now with this particular combined keys, what I'm going to do, I simple guys, the next step is that add, add the key set. Okay. From map number four also. So how to do that? I simple write combine keys, a dot add all method. I'll be using it. And then from the map number four dot get the key set and add it over there. Now in this particular combined keys, what will happen in the memory? The structure will be like that. This is the let's see combined key map or oh, sorry hash set got created. This guy is pointing to this guy. So what I've done first I have added I'm passing the inside the constructor key set from the map one in map one. We have one, two and three. It means like that one, two and three. And then map four key set. It means one, two, three, four also will be stored. So one, two, three, and four, which is coming from map number four. Okay. So in this particular object, I have all the keys available. Now what I'm going to do, I simple write, just combine the keys dot remove all method. I can use it. It means remove all the key sets, which is coming from map number one. It means remove all the key set from map number one. So what we'll do, remove this, remove this, remove this like that. And the third also will be gone. Right guys. So what is happening? Fourth is left. So when you combine the keys, right? I'll see, show you once again. See first time we are adding one, two and three. Next time if I'm adding map number four key set again, you add it over there. Map number four key set is one, two, three, four. But the moment I'm adding one more time, I mean one once again, two and three once again, it will ignore why because that's why I'm using hash set over here. Now you got it because hash set can store only and only unique elements. It will not store duplicate elements. So I cannot store one, two times. This is just for you showing. Okay, just to show you. So that's why I'm saying that. Okay, again, one is already there. It will ignore one, two, again, it will ignore three, again, it will ignore what is left four. So it will store four over here like that. This is the current situation. And then what I'm doing, remove all the keys. Okay, remove all the values or keys coming from map number one. So map number one, we have one, two, three. So it will remove one, it will remove two, and it will remove three. So what is left? Only fourth key is left. So how will you print? I simply say that okay, then you print system dot out of print ln print that combine keys. Okay, so let's see what we are getting. We should get only the left out key is fourth. This is 
an important famous interview question guys please prepare this question people will ask you 100 percent find out the missing key in the hash map like that okay or the extra key not sorry the missing key find out the extra key over here okay so please remember this thing and you can explain the way i have explained you guys over here right so this is the third one fourth one is that um, again important one that you have to compare maps by values so by keys we have seen that now can we compare by values yes we can do that so compare maps by values so what i'm going to do that okay i'm going to create um, uh, let's see three hash maps once again over here so let's see this is a hash map number five this is hash map number six this is hash map number seven and this map number five is again having a one a a two b and three c and this map number six is having again exactly same thing but different uh, uh different keys over here let's see this is map number six map number six don't forget to change the map reference but here i'm writing let's see this is a four this is five and this is six like that so on four let's see we have a and on five we have b and on six we have c over here like that okay and then we have map number seven map number seven having uh, four pairs one a two b three c and let's see four c also same value but different key like that perfect now i simple say that okay if you really want to compare on the basis of values and the condition is that duplicates are allowed or not so let's see duplicates are not allowed if duplicates are not allowed then in that case what i'm going to do i simple write let's see system dot out print ln i'll use new array list concept over here i mean i'm going to create the object of array list like that and then in the constructor what i'm going to do that give me map number five dot values give me all the values because now we are comparing on the basis of values not on the basis of key set it means map five give me all the values and then do what then do dot equals over here so i'll do light dot equals with what new array list let's see from the second map second map is map six so i'll write uh map number six dot values like that and array list guys you have to import first so let's import this and yeah we have to put a bracket over here okay now see again i'm repeating what i'm doing is if duplicates are not allowed so in that case that uh yep yeah, abc it will capture and abc it will capture and then by using the array list uh, comparisons that we are doing it so let's run it you can see yeah it's giving you true so here we are getting true over here without any problem now do the same thing with uh let's see map number five and map number seven and in map number seven we have a b c c all right one extra value is available but i'm using the concept of array list so what exactly it will happen it will give you false why because in array list it will not ignore the value right guys so it will not ignore the value why because this is not set implementation here we are using array list implementation it means it will take first abc and then it will take abcc it means you are comparing abc with abcc so in that case it will give you false like that okay so like this you can do that but um what if i don't want to I mean, I want to allow that, okay, duplicates are allowed. It means that is the second comparison that duplicates are allowed. So here we are using the concept of array list. Let's see. And if here I can use the concept of using again set over here. So I can create one hash a set over here. Now, how to do that? I simple write system dot outer print ln. I'm going to create the object of hash set over here. So hash set and then what kind of values you want so i simple write map number five dot values it means store all the values in the first object and then you have to compare 
So I simple write dot equals compare with what? Again, create the object of new a hash set. And then from the second guy, it means from the map six dot get the values. Okay. So set we know that, okay, it will store only and only unique values. So duplicate values will be ignored. So ABC and ABC, and then it will compare. So let's run it. So in this case also we are getting true because both are having the exact values. Either you're using arrays or you are using hash map or sorry hash set both are same thing. But I'll do the same exact comparison with map five with map number seven. Then what will happen? Now it means first you take ABC and again you take ABCC from here but this C will be ignored because C is already stored over here. Right guys. So in that case, let's see what happens. In that case, we will get true. So that's why we are getting true over here. But in case of error list implementation, we were getting false over here. Right? Perfect. Like that. So this is another question that you can people will ask you definitely compare maps by value, compare maps by key, compare maps by key and value pair format and find out the extra key how to do that simple combine the key and then and do the union actually union or combine i would say union the keys from both the maps and then remove the keys from the first map and you will get the extra key over there that's it okay so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you guys are learning a lot of things in collections and uh, please practice please prepare for the interviews and definitely these are the questions people will ask you at a time of interview no doubt about it so thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video and if you have any questions or any better solution please feel free to write in the comment section and till then take care bye bye